Hi guys, sorry for the delay in publishing this video almost a month after it was supposed to be published. I'll try to get back on track, I promise. Now let's get on with it. You can see the same table from the last video with the addition of the 3060 Ti result. Before we move on, it is worth mentioning that I run the test while I had bought the 3060 Ti and the 6800 plugged in the same system. So maybe some of the results uh, might not correspond very well to other tests, but uh, I just want to put it out there. Okay, so for the create model, things are not looking very well for the 360 Ti with a long CUDA initialization, which got me thinking I messed up something. But after rerunning the experiments, I got roughly the same numbers, so I guess that's how the new version of TensorFlow works, I don't know. Um, maybe there is some kind of a bloatware sitting uh, on my computer, I'm, I'm not sure why I got res these results, but the results are the results, I guess. In terms of compiling the model, which I'm pretty sure no one cares about, it managed to significantly outperform the RTX and still lags behind 3090, which is perfectly understandable. When it comes to the training though, which we care about, things got heated. The 3060i not only crushed the AMD 6800, but managed to match the time of the Titan RTX. And mind that the Titan RTX costs four times more than uh, 13060 Ti, which is amazing. A 500 pound GPU can crush 2000 plus pounds GPU, which is two years old or so. Amazing that the team of the NVIDIA managed to pull this off. So kudos on that. In terms of evaluation, Though the high range NVIDIA GPUs remain unbeaten and we can observe something very strange. The direct ML version has actually faster evaluation than the CUDA than its CUDA counterpart. And um, still, being the least expensive GPU on the list, I believe the best bang for the buck uh, is the 3060 Ti. But uh, please let me know what do you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, sorry for uh, the late video and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy it and I know it's pretty short but I think I don't really have a lot to say about this so I prefer to keep it shorter. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.